welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ashley. I make tons of healthy lifestyle videos and I would love to have you join our little community here. So welcome. Okay, we gotta talk about something because this recipe that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today is, I don't know what's the deal lately. I just feel like we are smashing out the best possible recipes I feel like I've even seen on my own channel in a long time. And I feel like it's because they're so simple and I'm just looking at them like a little different way and I'm like, oh my God, we could do this. Oh my God, we could do this. Like, I don't know if you guys saw a few videos back, but we also made chocolate chip cookies with the chocolate chip cookie fueling. Like, what the heck are we doing? Like, I'm just saying. I feel like the recipes lately are fire, and I'm just saying, this one today, I, I, I don't wanna jinx it, but like, this might be my favorite fueling hack. It's crazy, you guys. I don't even know how it took me this long to try this, but it's been an absolute game changer, and it's been going viral in my own little Revive Tribe community because the main it, I tried it. I was like, oh my God, Jenny, you have to try this. Oh my God, Orly, you have to try this. Like, <sighs> I think it's time we film a full video because this is a game changer for me and it's going to be a game changer for you. We are creating air fryer potato puffs. Okay, roll with me here. Why have we never tried this before? And I honestly think it's because I've started utilizing different ways to make my fuelings that make this so much more exciting these days. And I'm just telling you, this is probably, I hate jinxing it, but potentially my favorite fueling hack of all time. And I cannot wait to share it with you guys today. It truly just completely revamps the roasted mashed potato fueling from Optavia. And I'm telling you, if you make it this way, I'm just saying, I don't think you're ever gonna go back. Like this is phenomenal. Phenomenal, okay, I'm just saying so really quickly I feel like let me bring you up to speed if you're brand new to my channel And you have no idea what I'm talking about I am in the middle of documenting what's called my Schlee's health journey series originally going through the weight loss component of my Optavia 5-in-1 plan I have now transitioned more fitness into my routine But I still love sharing tons of healthy recipes including recipes featuring our fuelings with Optavia If you guys have no idea what Optavia is I'll leave all of the information down in my description box below feel free to send questions my way the basics of your intro 5-in-1 plan Which is the plan most people are gonna start out on is you're gonna be eating five fuelings a day that come to you in your monthly Optavia box and then one lean and green meal a day that you prepare from home. All of your fuelings and lean and greens are spaced out by two to three hour increments. That is what brings us into optimal weight during our optimal health phase. So welcome to another episode of my Schlee's Health Journey series. <laughs> Today's recipe is a fueling hack. It is a fueling hack for our roasted garlic mashed potato fueling from Optavia. And I'm just telling you guys, I was a little slow to the game with the air fryer and I honestly was a little intimidated by it at first, but now that I feel like I'm slowly getting the hang of it, I feel like I am coming up with the coolest recipes because they can be such a better consistency in my air fryer. Like I'm just saying, we gotta make this together today because this one is absolutely insane. I cannot believe it took me this long to actually throw my potatoes in the air fryer, but now that I have, honestly, you guys, I don't think I'm ever gonna go back. We're gonna be creating today air fryer potato puffs. And I gotta tell you, it's not just the potatoes, you guys. We are going to be creating potato puffs filled with cheese. Okay, I need you to just envision this because this is what we're gonna be making today and you're gonna flip out. So honestly, I can't stand it any longer. I need to show you guys how to do this. This whole fueling hack is gonna count as one fueling and two condiments for your day. Now, if you're like me, I generally like to use a condiment in my coffee in the morning. So this leaves me with two more for the day and it works perfectly with this fueling hack recipe. So here's what you're gonna need to create your air fryer potato puffs. Number one, obviously, we've already talked about this. We're gonna need our roasted garlic mashed potato fueling from Optavia. This one, honestly, like I'm just saying if you're brand new to your Optavia plan and maybe you saw the fueling of the mashed potatoes on the site and you were like eh, I'm not much of a potato person just order the mashed potatoes like I'm telling you right now the fuelings on the site I feel like the majority of them are sweet and generally the reason why people love the mashed potatoes so much is because it kind of breaks up the sweetness it's like a little savory bite and the mashed potatoes are great on their own like don't get me wrong but have you air fried them like I'm just saying I have no words you guys have to try this like I'm you have to try this. We're gonna be using our roasted garlic mashed potato fueling from Optavia. Next up, to make sure that we get the perfect consistency for our smashed potatoes, oh my God, this is where the game changer comes in. We're gonna be using 
two tablespoons of water. Two tablespoons of water instead of the regular, I wanna say it's like half a cup of water. We only need two tablespoons because we're gonna make mashed potato dough. Two tablespoons of water. Just trust me, you guys, just trust me. Two tablespoons of water, okay? Then for the cheesy component of our potato puffs, we're going to be filling our puffs with cheese and creating an outer coating of cheese. And this is how we're gonna do this. I'm just telling you, you guys, it is as good as it sounds. And here's how we're gonna do it. So we're gonna be adding one garlic garlic and herb laughing cow cheese wedge. These count as one condiment for your day. We're gonna split it up into four and be able to stuff our potato puffs with garlic and herb creamy cheesy goodness. And I'm telling ya, this is the way to go. This is the way to go. And all for one condiment, you're gonna be shocked that it tastes this freaking good. One garlic and herb laughing cow cheese wedge. And then for the cheese on the outside of our puff, we're gonna be adding in one tablespoon of shredded Parmesan cheese for one condiment. And because our puffs are gonna be the right consistency on the outside, it's gonna be perfect to have a little bit of a coating of cheese on the outside too. Oh, I'm like literally mouthwatering thinking of this right now. Just wait, we're gonna make it. You're gonna love it. One tablespoon for one condiment of Parmesan cheese. And then just to make sure our puffs don't stick, we're gonna be using a little bit of olive oil spray in our air fryer, as well as a little bit of parchment paper to create our actual puffs. So we need a little bit of olive oil spray and a little bit of parchment paper. And also just for the record, um, did you guys know they sell pre-cut parchment paper on Amazon? I feel like this has changed my life. I'm gonna link this down below, but like every time I need parchment paper, I'd always like hesitate because I'd have to like cut it and like bring it all out. I have it sitting in my drawer here all my parchment paper and I literally just whip out a piece and it's the perfect size for my baking sheet. Like I'm just saying, perfect. So that is everything that we're gonna need for our air fryer potato puffs. I cannot wait to share this recipe with you guys, so let's get started. Okay, first off, we need to create our mashed potato dough for our puffs. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my mini mixing bowl. I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of water. And then right over the top, I'm gonna add my roasted garlic smashed potato fueling. I'm gonna take my mini baking utensil and mix it up. Okay, and you're gonna see, now that we've mixed this up with our two tablespoons of water, we've got more of a mashed potato dough that looks like this. It's all consolidated right there. I'm gonna mix it and form it into a little bit of a ball just so that it's all together. Get it off my spoon. And then the next step, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in my freezer for 10 minutes just to let it set. Okay, so while my potato dough is freezing, I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my air fryer. So I've got the Ninja Foodie. I'll link the one that I have below, but any air fryer will do. I like to preheat just so that I can get the accurate cooking temperature. So all I have to do is turn it on. I'm gonna choose the broil setting and I'm gonna go ahead and start it. It usually takes like ish 10 minutes or so to preheat, but just as long as it's like over five minutes, I think you're pretty safe. I just have to click start. Okay, my puffs are just about done, so I'm gonna lay out my parchment paper and grab my potato dough out of the freezer. Here's what we're working with. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my baking utensil and plop my dough in the center of my parchment paper. Okay, so in order for us to divide our dough evenly, this is the best way that I know how, I just take my parchment paper and I roll it over the top, take my hand and press it flat. You're so different. And then bring it back up. People say, people say, people say. I'm gonna take my mini baking utensil and divide this into four. Now here's the fun part. We're gonna stuff our air fryer potato puffs. So I'm gonna take my laughing cow cheese wedge, open it up, and then I'm gonna do the best I can with a knife to kind of divide this into four. Doesn't have to be perfect, just do your best. Set this to the side. I'm gonna wet my hands a little bit and I'm gonna start forming my puffs. Wet my hands, grab my first piece, take my baking utensil and kind of scrape it up like this. Flatten it in my hand so that there's enough space in the center for me to place my cheese. I'm gonna grab a piece of my Laughing Cow Cheese Wedge. I'm gonna place it right in the center and then I'm gonna wrap my dough right around to cover my cheese wedge. Like so, roll it up in a ball. And here is my potato puff. Does that not look glorious? I'm gonna set this to the side and create my next three and let's see what it looks like when we're done. Okay, my potato puffs are done. 
Now for the coating. I'm gonna place a tablespoon of my Parmesan cheese right here on a plate. Spread it out a little bit. Perfect. And I'm gonna take my first potato puff and roll it in my cheese. Like so. You see that? Now we have a Parmesan cheese coating. I just rolled it in my cheese. We're good to go. I'm gonna set it on my other plate right here and do the last three, then we'll pop them in the air fryer. Okay, here are our prepped potato puffs. Now we gotta pop them in the air fryer. My air fryer is preheated to 450 degrees on the broil setting. I'm gonna spritz my pan with just a little bit of olive oil spray so they don't stick. I'm gonna place my puffs with like about an inch between them just so that they don't stick and then we can air fry. Pop on the top. And we're gonna go ahead and air fry for six minutes all together. No words, you guys. All I know is they taste as good as they look. I'm just saying, these potato puffs, like not only are you looking at how freaking delicious these look, but here's the real test. You see that spring? That's potato dough. I'm just saying, these air fryer potato puffs are about to change your world. They have changed mine and they have changed everybody around me because I cannot believe this is on plan. This is a potato fueling and two condiments. Like, even if you didn't want to do the Parmesan on the outside, you could just do your laughing cow on the inside. Like, just telling you guys, this is where it's at. And I, I feel like this would not be doing it justice unless we tasted one, because obviously I'm gonna scarf these down. But I'll taste one on camera with you guys because these are just as good as they look. We even have one that like, the cheese started coming out a little bit, look at that. Okay, the true test. We gotta taste it and I gotta show you the cheese on the inside because like I said, number one, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but this is dough on the outside. Now listen to the crunch. Oh my God, they're steaming a little bit. You can tell these are like freshly baked. But now look at the inside. We got cheesy goodness on the inside of our puff and a Parmesan almost like, almost like this acts almost like breadcrumbs coating on the outside. Oh my God. I'm just saying, if there is one fueling hack you try this weekend, it's this one. And was that not so simple? Like all we did was really just revamp the way that we make the fueling. I gotta eat these right now. I gotta jump off this video because these are so good and I cannot not eat them when they're piping hot. I'm just saying, so, so good. I hope you guys absolutely love this recipe. Please comment down below. Let me know how you love your air fryer potato puffs. If you guys like this video, please like the video down below as well as subscribe to my channel. Tick that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload new videos coming to you guys every single week and tons of new recipes up my sleeve. I cannot wait to share with you. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. You gotta try this. You gotta try this.